Dobrý. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a press conference honoring our distinguished guest who came especially today, Jean Reno, who will be receiving the President's International Film Award this evening. Today at 10.30 p.m. At the, at the Thermal Grand, uh, Grand Hall of Thermal. And the uh, ceremony will be followed by the cult movie Leon. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the, the conference will take, we'll see, around 30, 35, 40 uh, minutes. We'll see. So, um, I don't know um, if the pictures are done. Maybe we can can we start? Yes, are please. You okay? Okay. Please, please, please. Okay, so. Uh, too close, too close. The photo is not too good. Too close. Very uh, close, too close. Okay, Susanna. stop now. Stop. Thank you. I, I cannot see the people. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I might have a first question for you though because. Yes. Uh, you know, the Natalie Portman character was chosen from like 2,000 girl, young girls uh, in, in Leon uh, tw 22 years ago. How do you recall working with her? She was very young. She was casted at the age of 11, played when she was 12. What kind of experience was it sort of working as so close? Uh, you know, it's a long time ago. Uh, as far as I remember, I had a very good time with her. <laughs> Uh, as a, a little girl, she was 11 and a half. Yeah. Um, she understood very quickly that it is a, a work. It is not a game or we're not playing. I mean, we're playing basically, but more acting than playing. She understood very quickly because she was, a, I mean, she's al always been smart. She's a very smart person with a big heart. And uh, as far as I remember, I had a very good time with her. It was uh, all the memories that I have, they're very good memories from that moment, that summer in New York. Okay. Next question. Yeah, the gentleman there. Skalska, Deník, dobrý den. Já bych se chtěla zastavit u vašeho aktuálního projektu. Pokud mám správné informace, tak byste měl roztočit teď projekt v Praze a okolí, dokonce i v Karlových Varech, v hongkongské produkci. Můžete ho trochu přiblížit, případně říct něco o postavě, kterou tam hrajete? Děkuju. You are currently shooting in Prague and also in Karlovy Vary. Oui, if you oui, could, you, if you in, could tell in, us a little bit more about that. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to do a Chinese movie shot in Prague. That's all I can say uh, today. <laughs> but it, it is a big production for Chinese, big production with big Chinese stars. But it's an adventure movie, right? It's an ad it's an adventure movie. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> it is an action movie. Okay, the gentleman here? It works. Uh, your uh, romance with uh, Jean-Marie Poiret in The Visitors seems to be a never-ending story. Will it have a follow-up in, in, in how many years? And in what period of history would you like to, to place that new <laughs> chapter of the visitors? Yeah, the visitors. I saw a photo from the visitors. We shot last year, last summer, we shot the movie, the number three. And uh, I think it's the last one. Because now we're old and I don't think people will, will believe in old actors following the past, you know. But we were very happy. Very happy in, in Praga last, last m summer. We spent two months in the country and also in the Czech studios. And we appreciate a lot uh, Praga and uh, restaurants and uh, the quality of life here in, in Czech Republic. Yeah, I mean it. 
Thank you. Uh, Katarzyna uh, Hrlecová Festival Daily. Uh, well, you speak about quality of Prague. Uh, your parents uh, emigrated from Andalusia to uh, Northern Africa when you weren't born yet. And we have many migrant movies here in festival. What do you think about the migration pro uh, problem nowadays? Immigration program? Pro problem. <laughs> in where? In Europe. In Europe? Yeah. I'm not a politician, so I'm not going to answer that question. You know. I do not have enough information to, to speak about that. I'm an immigrant, yeah. it's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she was asking you that question. <laughs> in relation with that, do you feel you have exploited or not exploited enough your Spanish origins? But it's about my Spanish origins. Like how? Uh, you, you haven't kind of uh, played roles in the Spanish films, so you have maybe not exploited that r roots. Yeah. Maybe I, 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 just, I just did a, a short movie. We shot it in, in Parma de Mallorca for a commercial for a week with a very big director because I've seen uh, Garcia, his name. Uh, he did La Isla Minima, uh, which is a very good movie. I saw the movie, and, and then when they called me for, uh, for shooting, for shooting that, that film uh, a week, I said, wow, that's a big film for a commercial. And they said, it is Garcia who will direct it. So I said, yes. And I had a very good contact with him, and I hope to do a movie with him. I had no occasion to, sh to shoot in that movie was shot in Spanish. I had no occasion because every time they sent me a script, I was busy or it wasn't a good script, or et cetera, et cetera. And it's a pity. But uh, I hope to work with him in Spain, yeah. Yeah, I hope. Pán Reno, magická hlbočina je váš veľmi uh, významný uh, kultovný film, aké máte na to spomienky? Uh, there's there's the there's this the big blue the mag the the movie Dante with Person that it's like such a significant movie for you. What are your memories of that movie? The big blue. The big blue, right? Yeah, the big blue was uh, the first the first big adventure that I had with uh, Luc Besson. Uh, it was a movie that he wrote. He had the idea. He was very young when he was living in a, in a Greek island with uh, his parents, and and I remember the script was uh, had uh, already a, a big adventure spirit out of the pages. You know, it, it was something very big. I remember that. Uh, it was the first success that we had with Luke in terms of. Uh, uh, international box office, and we spent nine months shooting that movie. We trained for one year to reach the 33 meters down without tanks, you know, just holding the breath. And uh, again, it, it was a big adventure, a human big adventure, and also a cinema adventure. It changed my life because we travel all around the world with that movie. It is a very good movie, I think. Very strange because it is based on a, a death portion of uh, the, the characters. The two characters, they, they want to die, in fact. And uh, I met uh, Jacques Mayol at that time. And he was, he was a very strange man. Very strange. Why? Why? Because he wasn't living on Earth. He was living uh, under the water. All his, <laughs> yeah, all his uh, attention was inside the sea, the dolphins diving, going down and going down. Again, death somehow. Strange movie, but a very beautiful too. Right. That's why the, I guess the death, it was why the, the youth was touched at that time, because the youth has always that the idea of uh, death around. You know, when you're a teenager, you, you have that, especially in America, 
death is not f far away from youth, in fact. I'm not a specialist, okay, again. <laughs> Spáčelová dnes, dobrý den. Já bych se ráda vůbec zeptala na úlohu Lika Besona ve vašem životě, jestli uh, ho zmínil naprosto, jak vlastně došlo k tomu setkání. Zda si dovedete představit, uh, co by se s vaší kariérou dělo, kdyby jste se vyba nepotkali, jestli spolu ještě budete někdy pracovat a hlavně, jak je to člověk. Znám jeho díla, ale jak je vlastně Lik Beson, jak byste ho poznal. Děkuji. I, uh, yeah, every time, every time you, you, you have an encounter with the success, it is because you've been working with uh, somebody. Uh, Luke was very important because I met him when I was young, but I was already working on theater very well. And uh, I don't know what my life would have become without him, and I don't care. What I what I care about it is uh, his friendship. He's a friend of mine, and he's doing movies with other actors, which is completely normal. Uh, we have a project of a play, uh, maybe in Paris. We don't know exactly. We've we've been talking about that uh, recently. Uh, how is he? I hope he's well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the movie changed my life, but he, uh, the movie changed his life too. So I, I do not forget that uh, doing a movie, it is not one people or two people. It is a team. Uh, um, my ego is by in the final result of the movie. If the audience likes the movie, my ego is happy. My ego is not because I am on a movie and because I am a, a movie star or whatever. So life continue for me. He is a friend of mine. It is most important thing for me. It is like he is a friend of mine. Um, I hope I, had, I have answered to the question. <laughs> Věda Mišková právo. právo. To setkání s Lukem Bessonem změnilo váš život i v tom smyslu, že ty filmy vám otevřely cestu i k vysokorozpočtovým hollywoodským filmům. Jaká to pro vás tehdy byla změna? Yes. Uh, yeah, when the, when the Americans, they see, because we have, to, not to forget that uh, the Big Blue and uh, the professional Leon was shot in English. Every time you have somebody coming from Czech Republic or from Italy or from Spain, like Javier Bardem, and they're able to speak enough English to be understandable by uh, the Middle West in America, and they're very good actors, they will find. They will find movies in America because they like good actors. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about Javi Bardem. So, every time you find somebody who is a good actor and he's able to speak English, it will work in, in Los Angeles, if he wants. <laughs> yeah, but don't forget, they call you. You don't go over there and, uh, and serve pizza pretending you're an actor. They call you. You played a very uh, different kind of characters. Uh, what makes you choose a, a role? Uh, choose a role? Oh, depend, it depends. Sometimes it is, most of the time it is the people. So, sometimes it is the story. But most of the, of the time it is the people I will spend two months, three months with them. If I don't like the people, if I don't feel comfortable with the people, I will say no, thank you. But yeah, it is the people. I do the, this not for the story I'm telling. I do this to, to spend my life with people I like and, and I feel good, I feel good with them. For example, when I took the, the movie, the Sean Penn movies, it was only because Sean Penn will direct the movie and I was so happy to, to spend time with him and to look at him, how he works and how he directs people and looking at his ideas and etc. Uh, etc. Mm. Mm. 
Yes. Um, how, how much did you, how much did you actually like the shooting of uh, Da Vinci Code? How, how did you get along with the people? And are you a Dan Brown reader? Are you a de devoted fan he, of him? Yeah, he wrote the part for me. And I, I have worked with, uh, let today you can say, three directors. G who touch me more than others. It is uh, Ron Howard and Roberto Benigni and Sean Penn, apart Luke. Mm. Luke is more a friend than a director. And uh, th that was one of the, the, the encounter that I touched my life and changed my life as a man. Tom Hanks and Ron Howard, because they, they are larger than a movie. When you work with them, you, you can understand that they are larger than the movie. Most of the time when you work with people, the team, they con concentrate in the movie and they have the movie and they follow the movie. It is quite rare that you can see the people is larger than the movie. They are like that. So I was very happy with them. Have you ever read the, the, his novel, Dan Brown novels before? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not believe in uh, the, the Da Vinci Code, but <laughs> it is a good book. <laughs> Hello. And the, the anecdote was that like we spent three weeks in the uh, museum, Louvre Museum, every night. And we had the museum for ourselves. So that's exceptional. And did you say the role was written for you especially? Yes. Hello. Uh, is there something uh, what did is there something what did you never act or which role in the film do you want to play? What do you want to play and what you would never accept? Oh. In other words, do you have a dream role? What do I want to play? I don't know. <laughs> in fact. No, I don't, want to, I don't want to say that I'm a good guy, in fact. <laughs> because if I say I want to play a philosopher, I want to play a composer. <laughs> Happy? No. We're all human beings. No, something into music. I missed music in my in my movies. I had no m movie with the music because I'm always fascinated by people that they see something or they hear something that you cannot see or you cannot hear. I've been spending nights and weeks and years with uh, Eric Serra, which is the composer, Luc Besson's composer, and every time I was very surprised to see him uh, writing music alone in his studio. In, in his place, and the, the, the music came from his head. That's fascinating me, yeah. So maybe some, somehow I can find some music. Like a rock band musician, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, hi, why did you become an actor? And was it your dream since you were a kid, or you dreamed about another profession? No. I, I knew very quickly from uh, 10 years old, 11 years old, but I didn't dream about, about cinema. Uh, we had a very good teacher and we, we, we had plays at school. And um, the ambience, uh, the, the wood, the wooden stage, the, the smell, the, Everything, all the ambience around the stage, that, that was, uh, that was the, the attraction I had. Not the movies, the, the theater. I mean, because I, I started on theater, I come from theater. And I, I remember, I can remember today, all the sensation, the, the approach of uh, the, 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 the women also. The place of the woman in backstage, the, the smell, the, 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 the clothes, the, you know, the sounds, everything is fascinating for, for, maybe because I didn't like myself. I'm sure I didn't like myself. Hmm. There's a question in the very first row. Let's just speak up. Yes. Um, your movie career started quite a 
divided on time ago when there were less or no computer generated images, and you're starting a lot of action movies, um, how did you experience it working in front of the screen screen or in a real environment? What is exactly the question? I don't know. What, what is exactly the question? Today, is when you do an action science fiction movie, there's a lot of green screen. Yeah, yeah. Computer generated images. Yeah, I don't care. Do don't care? I don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> no, because that's the easier, easiest part is uh, you, you need patience and, uh, and you need to understand what they want from you because they have uh, points, you know, on the green or blue screen and you have to be inside those. No, that's not the, the, the most important part. But I mean, isn't it interesting for you to actually be in the place instead of adding it on the computer later? I understand. You cannot say it is interesting. You, you, you can say it is part of the work because nothing can, can fit you more than a scene with somebody because you will share the moments, you will share the impressions, the, the heart and the rhythm and et cetera, et cetera. In fact, it is difficult to say that you come to be alone because if you do video games or you know, only a, a green screen, screen, it is because you want to be alone by yourself, <laughs> which is not very interesting, yeah. Um, you know, you are about to receive the President's Award of this festival. It is a great and, honor. And you are also uh, the recipient of the European Academy Film mm. Award. My goodness. So... <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. So... Yeah, I'm getting um, old now. What does the European movie industry need, according to you? Because you are a European actor in Hollywood. Yes, yes, of course. Always when you come back from Hollywood. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I live in New York, in fact. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We, you, don't forget. You... Be... Be quiet. Because you... <laughs> in Europe, the, 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 the cinema will be alive. I see young people, I see also the, the way they, they make money, for to, they put mm. money on, on, the, on movies and we mm. will have, we will continue to have a, uh, a way of telling our stories. Yeah. Czech stories, Italian stories. Some years you're going to have 10, you're going to have 12 movies, some years you're going to have three because the budget is bigger, but we will continue. That never will stop. First of all, because the, the television, they will need images, and, and we're here to, to give them images, of course, and to tell how people live. I mean, I guess. I think that. So did you say you are honored you will receive the prize tonight? I, I am very honored. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have stayed home <laughs> <laughs> with my kids. <laughs> Of course. Dobrý den, Michala Široká, televize Prima. Wait, wait. Dobrý den. Už po několikáté natáčíte v České republice a mě by zajímalo, jaký máte názor na Čechy, případně Češky. A ještě druhá otázka je, my vás známe z několika filmů, hlavně s různými charaktery, ale jak vy sám vnímáte sebe? Děkuju. Wow. You, you want me to talk about me? No, 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 no. Um, I was, I'm, I'm happy here. I was very happy la last summer. I spent two months and a half, and I was very happy. I mean, people here, they, they, they have a way of living very warm, with no tension, no aggression, what I feel. It's and uh, this is my guy, he is with me for more than 15 years and, and we were so happy to come back again. On était très heureux de revenir this year because we have beautiful women, people very nice and very good food. <laughs> what else? And if I have another movie next, next year, I will come back again. In Praga, of course, of course. Myself, the idea that I have with myself, I'm a Leo, twice, uh, but a very old Leo, 
Le the Leo, you have two kinds, young Leo and old Leo. I'm a very old Leo. And I was very old when I was young. It means I'm not going to yell. I'm going to be very patient until, and uh, by the end I will yell, ah, enough! <laughs> but otherwise, life with me seems to be easy. Est-ce que je suis facile à vivre? He said yes. <laughs> There's a question at the back. Hello, Mr. Reno. It's nice. To, yeah. It's nice to hear you are coming back. Uh, that you like to come back to the Czech Republic for filming, but it's also known you are you have been coming for filming to Japan quite often to shoot the commercials for Japanese cars, Honda and Toyota. Can you briefly tell us about this setup of your? Uh, acting life and also whether the French uh, car companies uh, following this success didn't offer this to you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been with him again traveling to, to Japan for 15 years because we had a car for Toyota and now it's finished. The contract is finished. I did something for Bentley because uh, uh, Bentley knows that I like cars and <laughs> And they, they were very surprised because they had six million views in the internet uh, on that movie that we did for Bentley. So, f some French, <laughs> they're calling us, but I don't know, I'm not, I do not have any contract with nobody, uh, actually. That's life. That's life. C'est comme ça. But with the Japanese, it is finished, and we're sad because we liked it to go to Tokyo. Every year, they're sweet people also, and we had a good time there. Hello, uh, Barbara Hlaváčko, TV Barandov. Uh, I have a little bit funny question, because a lot of people compete and say, how long can you stay underwater? Show me, and I show you. And you acted in uh, Big Blue. Did you train it with spree divers? Uh, and how long can you be underwater? Did you train the breath? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of a, a, um, because of a technical uh, problem, when, when you shoot somebody underwater, if you move the camera and if you catch uh, the surface, it is not good because you cannot pretend that you're very deep. So that's why Luke wanted everything shoot, shot uh, about minus 30 meters, the minimum. So it took us uh, a year to reach 30. We went to 33 maximum. And we had more than three minutes holding breath at that time. Today, I guess that I have uh, one minute with a week training. But now here, <laughs> 35 or 45 seconds. <laughs> uh, well, that, 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 was the, that was why we had to hold our breath and then, because also the characters, they had to do that. So we did it, we did it. Yeah. Thank you, there's a lady at the very back. There's somebody who is no, waving yeah, that's me. What I mean. yeah, that's, the, that's the waving lady. I know you. <laughs> I remember. There's another, you know, everybody will be waving. Sanremo, in Italia, last <laughs> year. Hello, Mr. Reno. Yes. I have one question. Uh, you in the films, if you had a face like a face, you laugh often? And why do you have another question? Pardon. A druhú otázku. Máte údajne 6 detí. Ja viem, že oni by mali povedať, aký ste otec. Ale keby ste sa mali sám tak kriticky zhodnotiť, aký ste otec. <laughs> Ďakujem. Yeah, yeah. Next time I'll come back, I'll come with one of my sons. One of my son of one daughter. And they'll, they'll tell you how. Yeah, I, I, I laugh all the time. When I work, it is very surprising. Um, that's put me back on the, the movie I did produce for Michelangelo Antonioni called uh, some, Something About the Clouds, uh, produced by Wim Wenders. 
because I was, uh, Michelangelo was a uh, half paralyzed. He had a stroke and he couldn't move. So he, he, was, he, was, he was talking like, like this to his wife. And the, the wife was the only one people, uh, person who couldn't understand him. And when I was talking to him, I was doing the same. So he was laughing. And uh, Wim Wenders said, but what? <laughs> you cannot be like in life. <laughs> He's Michelangelo Antonioni. I said, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Why do I have to be like this? Because he's Michelangelo Antonioni. And Antonioni was very happy. So I laugh, I laugh all the time. Which doesn't mean that I'm not going, going to do things very, very uh, seriously. Because I, I'm, I'm aware that we are a crew, we have a budget, and we have to finish the movie. That's always in my mind. But I don't know why I have to stay like this every day. Oh, yes, oh, yes, shooting, action, I, no. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs> Dobrý den, pane. Dobrý den, pane Reno, Lenka Koutná z Moravského rádia Petrov. Vím, že teď jste hovořil velmi vesele. Zeptám se, žijete v New Yorku, ale jste Evropan. Dotýká se vás uprchlická krize, která nás tady tíží? Je. Pardon. Omlouvám se, přišla jsem o chviličku později, snad jste na otázku už i odpovídal. Tak jak, jak se vám daří? You came late. My, minus 15. No, no, no. No, I'm not a politician, so. She was asking how That's okay. are you? She What? Like, she was the replacing question was how are you? Yes, I, I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. No, I have no solution. I don't want to talk about that. It's not my role. No, no, not at all. I'm just a little actor. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, a last sort of couple of questions. There's a lady at the back. Dobrý den, Bartová Červený Koberec. Vy máte rád Japonsko, často tam natáčíte. Co vy a japonština? Bylo pro vás obtížné se ji naučit? The Japanese. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I when I was a student, an art student in Paris, when I came from Casablanca, uh, I was working on a duty free shop with a lot of Japanese. So I picked it up a lot of word, words, and then um, traveling to Japan, I, I I I picked it up words. Now it seems to be that we're moving to uh, China, and uh, it's, I know uh, two words, uh, uh, Nihao and uh, uh, Cessier, that's it. But obviously they do movies in English. <laughs> uh, you mentioned, hi, hi, I'm here from Israel. You yeah. mentioned before uh, the Sean Penn movie in Cannes, the critics hate the, hate the movie, ne they never gave such a terrible critic, so what do we think about this? I, I, di I didn't understand, because I don't know if you've seen the movie. I didn't understand why they criticized so badly, so violently, Sean, in fact. Because for me, it, it is a love story in, in Africa between uh, Médecins Sans Frontières, you know, those doctors without frontier. And, and I, I, my wife liked the movie. The people I know, they, they, they liked the movie. Otherwise, I would have said to Sean, why, no, we're not going to Cannes because they're going to kill you. Uh, and I don't understand why they did that. Maybe because we went, we came by the end of the festival or because they, including the American reporters, they started, the first one to criticize the movie was the Americans. I didn't understand, honestly, honestly. I don't think the, the movie deserves that, that kind of... Uh, it is only a movie, it's not a war or... or uh, you don't see people, bad people in that movie. Do, do you see just people trying to live? 
And the work of Javier Bardem was fantastic. Charlize too. She, I'm just a, a little part of the movie. The, the two main roles, fantastic. No sé, in Spanish, no sé, no sé, no sé. Sometimes in, in Cannes they, they kill you. Maybe it's uh, the food is not good that day or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Se ještě, ještě jednou zpátčilo, ale já bych se vás ráda zeptala, co byste poradil lidem, které, mladým lidem, kteří sní o kariéře, kteří chtějí být herci a domnívají se možná, že herectví se dá naučit, že na to stačí škola a že se stanou slavnými a známými a skvělými herci. Co vy si o tom myslíte? Chtěl byste někoho učit a dá se vůbec herectví naučit? Děkuji. Yeah, it, it, the question is very good. Only the, the word famous is not good uh, in, that, in that sentence, what you said. Uh, becoming actor is enough. Famous, that's another story. And that can kill you if you think that you w will be famous. Because what does it mean, famous? I don't know. Um, go to school. Go to the art school, follow, follow teachers, uh, read the plays, read everything you can read. Because the, for me, the image, it is a building. You want to build something high, you need foundations. How many actors, young actors I've seen on stage, they don't know about uh, half of Shakespeare work, they don't know about this actor, they don't know about nothing, they just know about images. Wow, I look great now. No. And also, don't forget, you're going to do that all your life. You have to be happy every day. You have to be happy every day and go to a set and work every day with the intelligent people, with the stupid people, with talented people, with completely idiot. You have to be there <laughs> every day and be happy and, and feed yourself through, through what you are. So it, it is not famous images. We don't f give a shit. <laughs> Honestly, I believe that. And don't forget, it is not one movie, two movies. It is all your life. The goal is to be there all your life and to be good if it's possible. Uh, hi. Hello. I have one more question. Oops. <laughs> what is your program for next couple of hours until the evening when you get the award? Uh, no, I, I have a, I, I have, yeah, I have uh, some emails to do, <laughs> and uh, phone calls, uh, emails and phone calls, uh, voila. Uh, and then we we get, we gonna have a tuxedo, huh? Nice, time, <laughs> and wow, well, happy. And well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, can you handle one more question? Could you handle one more question? Okay, go ahead. What? Yeah, Last question. Yeah, okay. yeah. Dobrý den, mluvil jste o divadle, který vás přivedl k herectví a mě by zajímalo, jestli je to ještě něco, co děláte stále aktivně, anebo jestli je to něco, k čemu se třeba ještě chcete do budoucna vrátit, třeba jako mají to nějaký divadelní společnosti, jako třeba Jean-Paul Belmondo měl divadlo nebo podobně. Yeah, yeah, I did a play in Paris, a big play and we, we were full. All, all, all. I have a project in Broadway, but it is very difficult to produce a play in Broadway. So, uh, with uh, Mathieu Broderick, who is a friend of mine, we have a play and um, yeah, it takes time, but yeah, I have that in my mind. Yeah, I would like to be in a, in a theater in, in Broadway for two or three months. Is this the new play? New play? A play away. A new one? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to tell us? No, that? because I have nothing, no basis, so yeah, yeah, superstition. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.